Getting set up with Ignition is quick and easy, and in this video I'll guide you through some setup to help you get started. To start, Ignition can be downloaded from the download page of inductiveautomation.com where you can find zip installers or executable installers for your operating system of choice. I already have it downloaded, so I'll start up the installer. I won't spend too much time here, but to summarize, it'll ask me to choose an installation location, and then the modules I'd like to include in the installation, and I'll just go with the typical install, which will add things like SQL Bridge, Perspective and Vision, as well as OPC UA and device drivers. And then I'll let it finish the installation process. It should only take a moment, and then I'll click Finish. The Ignition service will start up a web server that can be accessed in your web browser at the default port of 8088, and this should be opened up as part of the installation process. Now I just need to finish commissioning the gateway. I'll choose the standard edition of Ignition. I'll agree to the inductive automation EULA. Create my administrator user. And then there's also a chance here to configure some ports, including the HTTP port to access the gateway webpage. But I'll leave these at the default and I'll finish setup and start the gateway. The gateway will then start up in the background. So after that quick install process, Ignition is now up and running on my PC. You'll notice that there's a banner towards the top of the page for the timer. This is the remaining amount of time for the trial mode. While the gateway is in trial mode, I have full functionality and can build and test things, but trial mode will only last for two hours. That being said, the trial timer can be reset indefinitely. I just need to manually do it from the gateway webpage. So one of the first things I can start doing is to connect Ignition to some of my external data sources. I'll start by connecting it to my database. I can make configuration changes to my gateway by going to the config section of the gateway webpage. Once there, I'll scroll down to databases and click connections. I'll create a new database connection. And then I just need to pick the JDBC driver for my database. I'm using a Microsoft SQL Server database, so I'll choose that and click next. Then I'll give my connection a name and fill out the URL and user credentials needed to connect and then I'll finish the connection. Now that I have a database connection, I can run queries from Ignition to view my tables, update records, or run store procedures. I can also start storing data like tag history, alarm event data, or audit logs from Ignition. Next, I'll create a device connection and bring in some live values, and this can be done from the OPC UA device connections page. We have a wide selection of device drivers to choose from, but if you don't see a driver for your device, you can connect Ignition as an OPC UA client to any third-party OPC UA server that may have the driver you need. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose our programmable device simulator that lets me load some example programs to drive simulated values for me to test with. Now I can browse the Ignition OPC UA server to see that I have a device with live values. I have a database connection and device connection, and now I want to visualize my data, so I'll download the designer launcher, and the designer is where the configuration of your projects will take place. Once the designer launcher is installed, I'll add a designer for my locally installed gateway and launch that.
Next, I'll create a new project, and I'm just going to call this test. Then I'm going to grab one of the perspective project templates. Once my project is open, I want to add my tags to my default tag provider so that I can start using them in my projects. I can do that via the tag browser pane here by clicking the plus icon. Then I'll find the device connection I made earlier and drag that folder over to my provider. And now I can start expanding folders and see those tag values. This project template already has some visualization resources that are ready to use, and I can find those resources in the project browser. And in this case, they'll be found in the perspective section. I know that this project is set to launch and display the home view, so I'll open that up and I want to start adding some components on top of what's already in the template. For example, let's say I want to display or even control some tag values on this page. I can achieve this as simply as dragging and dropping those tags onto the screen like so. Then if I put the designer in a preview mode, I can test this toggle switch and see it right to my tag value so I have data moving bi-directionally between my device and ignition. Also, since I set up my database connection earlier, I can start storing historical values for my tags by enabling tag history in the tag editor And then I can drag a power chart onto this view that allows me to easily view trends from my tag history data too. Then I'll launch a client version of this project in my browser, and I can see those values, test writing to my tag, and display the tag history values that I just set up. With that, I was able to quickly install Ignition, set up a database and OPC UA device connection, and visualize data as well as write to my devices from a project. From here, the rest of the resources in this project can be explored or built upon, or you can create a brand new project from scratch for whatever your solution requires. If you're interested in learning more about Ignition's features, be sure to check out our video library at Inductive University, or check out our user manual.